ahead of the world's 2019 Anti-Corruption State Civil Society Actors and the River State Anti-Corruption Network has advanced the fight against corruption in River State. The network has taken steps to bring about accountability towards ensuring quality governance. Our correspondent in Port Hackett again reports. The Rivers Anti-Corruption Network, during a media chat with journalists, says in line with the objective of monitoring governance, checking corruption and ensuring accountability. The group has written a series of letters to the Accountant General of the State for the report of 2018 year ending. This is to enable fair knowledge of how funds were released for projects and also calling on bodies responsible for corrupt practices to look into constituency projects. Our focus is mainly on processing projects as we have been able to see in our state processing projects, uh, uh, which is done by federal constituencies and the House of Rep members, uh, uh, government officials within the state and outside. And, and so we are mandating the EFCC to do all that it could within the mandate that it has been given to serve the people of the state. Right. This body says it is interested in the record of each project, transparency and accountability towards the execution of such projects. Uh, we're not, not certain whether this project actually took off. So it must be sure that it took off first for people to determine whether it's a standard. So this uh, information from the budget, now we must be sure if funds were released, if funds were not released, why was it so? If this project actually took off, and then if it actually took off, what, what will determine that is the funds that were released from the uh, city of finance. If we want to, to ask for all the information, we need to also write again requesting for this. We've not had one for the past year. You know, we're not saying that um, we can't have for this, but if we chase all the things at all the time, we end up not getting any. So let, if, we, if we get what we're asking for, it will become tricky for us. We have the impetus to be to ask for other ones. For the partnering with the uh, EFCC, I think we are doing that in the presence of 2019 report. Mm. If you ask them for 2019, they will tell you to wait till 2020, mm. or maybe around June before they can give you that report. But we believe that they are done. They have this report within them. They have refused to do so. We, over the past few months, have been on the field tracking some of these projects that were done. But it will amaze you to understand that. None of these projects exist. All of the projects stated here do not exist. As far as where this, this project has been to make sure that we find out whether they have started, this project has started somehow and they've not been completed. The Rivers Anti Corruption Network called on the EFCC, ICPC, and other related offense commission to take up petitions of reported corrupt government officials and to ensure that the state's budget become available and accessible to the public as it's marked World Anti-Corruption Day. Kome Odomo for Quest News.